Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So we were discussing about the Kafka and how we can use the Kafka with the Spring Boot. So I already have a video on my channel where I discussed about the uh, Kafka and its basic features and its key components. Everything I covered in that video and if you are going to learn the Kafka so I request you to go to the uh, first video where I brief about the Kafka and it is a kind of introduction video of the Kafka so please watch that first and then in this video what I am going to do I am just going to install the Kafka on Windows machine so how we will be doing that I will be showing you so coming to the slide you can see this is the link from where you can download the Kafka so I will copy it from here and then come to the browser you can come here and then open the download link so this is the new version of the Kafka 3.3.1 and this uh, binary download you have to do for the Windows so either of one you can download so let's say uh, by clicking on this link you you can see it is starting downloaded so you can see it is started downloading so let me pause it and then because I already have downloaded it for me so let me pause it so I will show you where it is so from here you can download it any of the two you can download from here either 2.12 or 2.13 now coming to my download I will show you where it is okay so this is the one okay I already copied and uh, I made a folder called Kafka here in this location uh, let's say here I made the folder called called Kafka and then I paste it out here okay so next thing what you need to do this is the binary file so you need to unzip it so for unzipping that I have one command you can take it from here and then you can unzip it or if you need the whole PPT then you can comment down in the video so that I can provide this PPT for you so you can see this is the command you can copy it and you have to run this on the command prompt so let me brief you about the command so this is the command and this is the source from where you are uh, picking the file and this is the location where you want to unzip it okay so I created this folder called uh, Kafka and there I put it and then in the same folder I am going to unzip it so let me copy this now let me go and open a command prompt paste it out and then you can see it extracted out all the jar files <coughs> so let me go there and then show you so you can come here you can see it has extracted it out now go inside it you can see there is a folder called bin config libs license and side docs so inside the bin you can go and go for the window here you can find uh, the bad file for jukeeper Kafka server okay so bad file for each of the thing is their producer consumer so <coughs> next what I will tell you I will tell you how you can start the jukeeper server and how you can start the Kafka server so once you are uh, done with the unzipping of the file uh, there are steps that you need to follow so so once uh, your software is unzipped what you need to do I'm just going to show you how you can create the Kafka server okay how you can uh, make the jukeeper up how you can make the Kafka server up how you can create a topic okay how you can publish something on the topic how you can consume something on the topic so those things I'm going to show you and then in the next video I will be creating a publisher with the help of his spring boot and then will publish something on the topic so to uh, why we are starting the jukeeper so we are starting the jukeeper so that it make a cluster and uh, globally the Kafka server can work so that is why we are starting the jukeeper server so uh, 
I already have given the path of that. So you can come wherever you have downloaded the where you wherever you have extracted out the file. You can go go inside it. You go to the bin and go to the windows. There in the last you can see there is a jukeeper server dot start. This is the bad file that you need to start. And uh, let me come out. You can see here is a config folder inside that you can uh, see the jukeeper properties file. So both thing you have to provide in the command. You can come here. Let me show you the command. It's also there here. So you can see uh, we are hitting the bat file and then uh, we are taking up the jukeeper uh, properties files for the configuration. So this is the command. Uh, so let me go there and then try to open the jukeeper file. So let me go to the window. Here let me open a command prompt and then let me select the jukeeper server dot start dot bat. Okay. Now let me come here and let me this is the same commands that I kept it here in the postman. Okay. So first of all I am going to make the jukeeper server up. So okay. So you can see, okay, first of all, let me uh, try to do some rename. Okay, so come here to the config. Let me go to the Kafka. Okay, let me try to rename this so that uh, it will be easy for us whenever we are going to uh, run the command so every time we need to provide this name okay so let me rename it to Kafka okay and uh, let me yeah let it be like this go inside it go to the bean go to windows and then open a command prompt here okay so it is up let me close the earlier one so come here let me close this let me close the command from this also so we are we are there inside this folder now let me select the jukeeper server dot bat and what i need to provide i need to provide the properties file location so where is the properties uh, jukeeper dot properties it is inside the config file okay so come here uh, let me copy this but this is not the path for the config because where is the config for us is you can come out of it you can see we have two kafka here and then we have the config and this is the part for config uh, where the jukeeper properties file is there. So let me copy this, come to the command. Pro. Let me replace with this and then we are okay. So jukeeper slash config. Yeah. So this is the location of the properties file. Let me copy this. This is the whole command. What you need to do? You need to provide the uh, you can come to this uh, window folder and then you can make the uh, you can select this jukeeper server dot start bat file and then you need to provide the location of the jukeeper properties file and then hit the command copy this come here let me put a space and then hit it so it will take few seconds to make it up so once it is up uh, you can start the uh, this uh, this uh, Kafka server bad file so this is you can see this is the jukeeper and it is started now coming here let me come and for uh, to start the Kafka when the Kafka will be started you can see inside the C drive it will create a temporary folder and there the Kafka log will be generated okay so I already have uh, tried this so let me select all and delete it not deleting the lock 
don't worry if you are doing for first time it is not uh, for you it automatically generate for you so so now coming uh, when, what what is the next step the next step is to start the kafka server kafka server bad file okay so let me try to do that so where it is so let me go there and then open a command prompt and then try to see so we are inside the window okay not this okay let me go to the bin folder to the windows and then let me try to open a command prompt here so what i am doing is i am just making the jukeeper up making this uh, kafka server up and then i will try to create a topic i will try to produce something on the topic and then try to consume it out so i will show you whole flow of the kafka how it is working and then we'll try to go for the spring boot and we'll create a spring boot application and then try to see everything uh, like try to publish uh, something from the spring boot application and then uh, see how it is behaving how it is publishing to the kafka topic and i will create a spring boot application which also consume what the other spring boot application is producing so let me make the kafka server up so we are inside this let's say it's kafka server start bad now we need to provide the uh, path of the config uh, of the properties file okay so the properties file is inside the config folder so let me come here this is the path for the config folder okay let me copy this let me paste it here because we have two kafka kafka folder so that is why uh, earlier i was having only one so i made the command like that so let me copy this now come here okay make a space and then we are good now hit this so once it is up what we can do i will show you how you can create a kafka topic so it is up now come now the next step is to create a topic so to create a topic this is the command okay so kafka topic bad file will need to make up and then we need to run this command and this is the default port for the topic okay so and uh, this is what you need to give the topic name so let's say i'm going to give the topic name as ravi okay and then let me try to create it so we need to make the kafka topic dot bat and then we'll see so copy it now coming here come to the windows okay let me close the first one let me open a command prompt here and then it is what was the command let me go there so the bad file is kafka topic okay so let me come here okay before that what i want is uh, to show you that we have couple of co topics created so with this command you can uh, come and see what all the topics you have created so you can see uh, kafka topic and then you need to run this command so i will show you first and then i will try to create it so let me come here and let me type the kafka hyphen topic okay dot bat and then we'll list out all the topics that is there so you can see i have uh, this three topics okay now i am going to create the new topic so let me remove this this is the bad file that you need to run now let me copy the other command so it is create and you i am giving the name as let's say not ravi let's say it's a engineering adda okay so let me copy this now come to the command prompt and here you can paste it out okay so 
just enter it and you can see one topic is created now earlier command you can run and then see how many topic you have so you have this four topics okay now coming to the next step is to produce something of the topic okay so here you have to give the topic name okay let me copy this and paste it out and uh, to produce something you need to use the kafka console producer dot bat and this is the command that you need to run so let me copy it let me go to the windows let me open a command prompt here and uh, kafka topic dot produce okay let me see what was that so it is kafka condo console producer so let me come here kafka console producer okay so this is the bad file that we need to use and uh, the rest of command is this make sure you are providing the topic name that you are going to use so let me paste it out and then let me hit it so it will uh, give you this arrow sign and you can provide anything here so let me i am just going to send some message so let's say it's a welcome to engineering or something like that okay and then next uh, message also you can provide so welcome to youtube something like that okay similarly you can provide couple of messages let me minimize this so the next is, step is to consume this uh, whatever we have produced so there is a uh, you need to use this bat file kafka console consumer and then this is the command that you need to do here you need to provide the topic name so let me copy this topic and then provide it here so from beginning whatever you have produced it will uh, show you there in the consumer so consumer will consume every topic every messages that you have produced to the topic so now coming to windows let me open a command prompt here and we need to use the kafka console and consumer and then rest of the command so let me hit it so you can see we can see a welcome to engineering adda okay what we have produced here is uh, welcome to engineering adda and then let me hit the youtube also so here you can see uh, welcome to youtube is also coming so whatever messages uh, that you are uh, publishing using the publisher on the topic the same messages you can see here on the consumer like consumer is com consuming the messages from the topic so let me send some few uh, new messages so let's say please subscribe something like that for more such content let me hit it so here you can see we are able to see that uh, it is coming on the consumer so this is about the uh, how we can install the kafka on the windows machine and how we can uh, how we can keep the zookeeper up how we can keep the server up and how we can create a topic how we can produce something from the producer and how we can consume it so this is whole about uh, the kafka how it is working on the windows now in the next session i am just going to create a spring boot application for the producer and then in the uh, next session i will create a spring boot application for the consumer so i will show you how uh, that uh, how we can produce something from the spring boot rest api and uh, how we can consume it into the another spring boot application so this is about this video guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content